Alright, hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Houdat613, and I'm going to be showing you how to untether, jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation. Uh, this is an untethered version, so you can reboot whenever you want, and it'll everything will work. Alright, so uh, first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser and go to the iPod Touch fans link I'll have in the description. And then you want to press right here. Right here, you want to press the download button. It'll take you to the Quick Freedom down uh, web page. And now, what you want to do is you want to click download now. Should wait for it to load, and then it'll say save here. But uh, I already have it saved to my desktop, so I'm not gonna do it. But just save it, install it. Uh, now you can exit out of that. Now you can open up Quick Freedom and press jailbreak and you have to install libusb and this should work for 64-bit computers uh, right now I'm running on a 64-bit Windows Vista uh, so it should work and then uh, the original 2.2.1 firmware you can download it if you press download it it'll take you straight to this website and you can download it right here so and then once you do that, once you have the libusb and the firmware downloaded, click next. And now, uh, if you want, you can add installer, or you don't have to. I'm not gonna. Or and you can add a custom boot logo. So I am. I'm gonna add this this pineapple right here. So then, what you want to do is you want to create the firmware. Now it says right here, this process may take five to ten minutes. Uh, and it does around there so let it just create the file and uh, I'll be back when that's done alright hey guys is uh it is almost done it's at 98 percent so just wait it out Alright, it should take a minute or two, I would suppose. So I'll, I'll pause it again. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, it's back. Um, And I am done. It says successfully created firmware. And then it tells me the location. There's, and then if you see right here, this is a custom firmware. Um, So now what you want to do is hit next. And it'll say to put your iPod in DFU mode. Now, if you don't know how to put your iPod in DFU mode, what you want to do is hold that power and home button for 10 seconds, and let go of the power button and hold the home button for another 10 seconds. Alright, so I'm going to do that right now. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now your screen should be black, um, should be blank, there should be nothing on it. And um, it'll say right here, if you connected it right, it'll say iPod connected in DFU mode, press start, pre-jailbreak. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to apply a patch. Now your screen should be turning white, so don't um don't get scared. Nothing's wrong. Now it'll say here iPod successfully put into pre-jailbreak mode. Now restore your custom firmware in iTunes. This file should be located on your desktop. So, okay. Next, next. You don't need to read that. It's it's fine. I mean, if you want to, you could, but it doesn't really tell. Just tells you to uh, restore or how to restore. So you can exit out of this. And we can you can open up iTunes. <clears throat> All right, iTunes doesn't seem to be popping up for me right now. Give me a second. I'm gonna pause the video. All right, uh, 
iTunes popped up. Now, um, it says right here, it'll just recognize your iPod and in DFU mode. It'll say iTunes has de detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. So, okay that. Now, what you want to do is hit shift and you have to click restore, but you have to do this at the same time. So, hold shift and then click restore. And this little box will come up right here. And then the custom firmware should be saved onto your desktop. So you can go here and then go to local disk. Users. And then go to desktop. Or you can just go to desktop, whatever is easier for you. And then you want to click on the custom firmware, not your restore file, your custom firmware. And click open. Now it'll say extracting software. And your screen should still be white <clears throat> until the next step right here. Give it a second. All right, right now your iPod should be uh should turn black, and then the your custom boot logo or your Apple logo, whichever you did, should be there. And it should be restoring. So I'm going to come back when this is done restoring. Alright, I'm uh, back and it is done restoring. Uh, it'll Your iPod should reboot after this message goes away. <clears throat> uh, so it should be rebooting right now. Or booting up. <clears throat> now the now it should reboot and it should be already booted up and then you should see Cydia and installer whatever you had and um, everything should be going well. Um, if something goes wrong, send me a message. But uh, that's how you do it. It's, it's really easy. Uh, so yeah, um, subscribe, send me a message if you need some help or comment. Alright, see ya.